29-yard line. Incomplete. Singletary going to get the handoff. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Their own that is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. On first down, Newton. This is White on the screen. And he's got some space here. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, here's Newton. On the left side, a catch by White. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, he just had two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that. yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. Put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. On first down, it's Newton. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. On the ground is Michelle. Give the tackle there to Josh Norman. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? A three-yard gain on the play. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there. And I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, it looked good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. He swallowed him up. Newton. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nine yards. First down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. No score after one on EA Sports. 
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. And he'll drop it underneath to White. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a gain of six on the play, and it's a second down. At the nine-yard line. From the gun, Newton. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Complete. First target, first catch at a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll try and run it with White. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. No gain on the play. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. Operating from the gun, Newton. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Marquise Lee there to make the grab as his guys are on the board first here tonight. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken about seven yards deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they can... And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Bo Allen able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Back at the 22-yard line. After the sack on first down, Allen flushed out right. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That's another. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Throwing on second and three. Allen. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. He's going to try and take off with it. Now a quick throw to Moss. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And it's caught. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 
Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills are an extra point away from taking the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. And it's no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. Oh, boy. Six. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Second and six. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Allen now looks to throw. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Allen now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They run here with Singletary. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the 6 to the 5. Singletary, the ball carrier. Tackle made at the five. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. All even through one half of football as we get back underway in quarter number three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. On second down now. It's White. James. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. First down, Patriots. From the 50, Newton. 
They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down. From the gun. Newton. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And the Patriot first down. Now left side on the swing pass. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. They'll start with the option. And some room to work. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Singletary here running out of the gun. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Quick throw here by Allen, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. From three yards out, and the Bills have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now they have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 42-yard line. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Here's Newton. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. And it's Operating from the gun. Newton. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Newton on first down. Being chased out left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. A gain of nine. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. This will be caught at about the six. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. At the six-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. They come up on a first and goal, and most likely four-down territory as they need a touchdown and a PAT for the lead. They get 
gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Pick up a two. Newton down to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Marquise Lee. His second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots can take the lead with the extra point. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 40. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen rolling to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Allen going to keep it. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. And yeah, they're going to try to eat some clock with Michelle. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's in. Officially nothing on that one. No gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. An important play right here. Third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down. Newton. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Edelman's first catch, and it's good for a first down. Patriots. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun. Newton, flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Slant route caught by Edelman. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off. Oh, no, he lost the football. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. Newton's going to throw it. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own 20-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Oh, 
On play action, Allen. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Incomplete. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. They'll roll him out right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. And he's able to find Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. This will be caught inside the 10. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Bills first down. First and goal at the 8-yard line. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Toward the pylon, caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looked... He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. And no, it's incomplete. So they can't convert for two, but they still have the lead as we get toward the end of the fourth. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Patriots take over first and ten. At their own. The Pats at the line, ready to go. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Now Newton. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi there. And it's third down. Go. He's back to throw. On the left side, a catch by Whitey. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game.
And down by five. They've got to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Micah Hyde able to get a hand in and knock that one away. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. And they will take a knee here. Tonight. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really